So I say penguin position. You could talk ballet and it would be first position. The important thing is, and I'll remind you, and I said this last week, that you're turning from your hip joints, that you're not twisting your knees and you're not twisting your ankles around. And usually it's like 45 degrees what you get safely. When you bend your knees, you need to bend on top of your, especially your big toe and second toe, pushing the knees out and trying to keep that neutral pelvis. When you're doing all these lifts, it's the same diagonal, so you don't move your hips. So it gives you a clue where to go already. So actually, start with your feet parallel and then turn them out a couple of times and try and do it from your hip joint rather than from your knees or your ankle. So you want to squeeze your inner thighs, turn your legs out and then bring them back to parallel. And do that a couple more times before we start to Concentrate on the posture and the breath. Now keep your toes out, make sure that you're really rotating from the hip joint, sliding the tailbone down a little bit, relaxing the shoulders, squeezing your inner thighs. Let's squeeze the ball and just think of breathing in, trying to lengthen your body, keep the midline, keep pushing down, crown up. And as you breathe out, squeeze the ball, the inner thighs, the stomach in, the ribs, that jazz. And again, breathe in. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Squeeze the ball, stomach in, inner thighs, pelvic floor. Let's do two. Breathe in. Breathe in out. Squeeze in. Each time a little bit more. Also the ball. One more. Exhale in. Good. Let's move our arms now. Just stretch them up as you breathe in. Try to ribs the lungs. And as you breathe out, squeeze the ball. Squeeze your stomach in, your inner thighs, and again, breathe in. Remember to have that feeling as you breathe out to zip your jeans, zip up. So that lower abdomen, up and in. And we'll do two more, breathing in as we lift. Breathing out as we squeeze the ribs in, stomach, inner thigh. Last one, breathing in. Exhale and squeeze in. And as you squeeze, start thinking of bending your knees, pushing them to the sides of your room. So the tailbone uh, or the hips are neutral. Breathe in and stretch up again. Imagine you're sliding down the wall. So you're sliding down with your shoulders and your hips, your lumbar spine touching. And again, breathe in, stretch. Exhale in, squeeze your stomach in. Keep your shoulders on top of your hips. One more, breathe in. Exhale in, take your time. Don't let me rush you. We're going to breathe in and lift the heels up. So what you want to do is stretch the legs first, then lift the heels. That's your breath in. Then drop the heels, then bend the knees. Exhale in. Again, breathe in and stretch and lift. Try and coordinate that. And breathe in now, drop and then bend. So do two more. Breathe in. Take your time. Breathe in out. Actually, the slower you go, the harder it is with this. Breathe in. Last one. Breathe in. Can I tell you, I'm trying to do it fast now. Breathe in. Up. Breathe in. Out. Back. Breathe in. Breathe in. Out. It's harder, isn't it? Two more. Breathe in. Breathe in. Out. One last one. Breathe in. And breathe in. Out. But stretch your legs, breathe in. And as you exhale, just turn your head to the right shoulder. Breathe in, come back to center. Exhale to the left. Uh, two more, breathe in. Exhale. One more, breathe in. Exhale in. Now tilt the head, breathe in. And exhale, tilt the head. That's it, breathe in, back to center. Exhale, tilt the head to the left. Keep looking forward. Two more. Breathe out. Tilting the head. Last one. Exhale. Now looking up as you breathe in all the way up and it's harder you'll notice. Exhale, look forward and all the way down, squeezing the ball. Again, breathe in and look forward and up. Breathe out, look forward. And then look down. Now as you breathe in, stretch the ball up, lengthen your body. We're coming into a side bend. So exhale a little one to start with, bringing your bottom shoulder forward, hugging the ball. 
and breathing, come back to centre, lengthen. Squeeze your point in the thighs, push that right heel down and bring that left shoulder forward, that's it. Two more, breathe in. Try to squeeze the ball between your hands and keep your elbows as stretched as you can. Last one. Exhale into the side. Lovely. Come back to centre, breathe in. As you breathe out, we're rolling down, trying to keep your upper arms by your ears. Your legs are turned out. You're going as far down you can with your legs straight and then bend them, still turning out the knees and rolling all the way down till the ball comes to the floor. Leave it on the floor. Push your hands into the floor. Relax the head, hold it there. And just see if you can stay no again with your head, with the crown of the head pointing towards the floor. Say no a couple of times and then say yes, 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 yes. And yes, then breathe in, grab the ball. As you breathe out, try and keep your upper arms by your ears. Roll up, vertebra at a time. Stretching your legs halfway through. Roll in the shoulders, head, arms. Oops. Try that again. If your lower spine hurts, then drop the arms and the ball. Exhale in if you can. It's harder for the core to keep the arms by your ears. Throughout, hold them. Then bend your knees, turn out. It's a little bit harder than usual. Arrive with the ball to the floor, let it there. Push your hands, your fingertips in the floor. Relax your head. You're still trying to get your stomach by your thighs. And then just say no. 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 And then yes. 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 Hold it there. Breathe in. Grab the ball. Roll in up with your arms in line with your ears. Lovely. Can we do one more, one last one? So breathing in, breathing out. First your head, keep your arms by your ears, squeeze the ball, unless your lumbar spine hurts. Then bend your knees when you feel you need to. Rolling the weight down and dropping the ball on the floor one last time. Relax the head, say no. No, 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 and yes, 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 yes. Can you hold it there a second more? Keeping your knees as bent as you need to, can you push your ball or just bring the block further forward and lean on it to open the chest? So you're coming into a flat back halfway up, that's your breath in, and then you can roll the ball towards you or just take the arms by your feet and relax the head, hold it there as you breathe out. Can we do that three more times? Breathe in. Lean on the block or push the ball forward. Breathe in out, roll the ball towards you or just place your hands near your feet. Two more, breathe in it. Keep pushing your knees out. It's a little bit harder technically, so just be aware of your legs, what they're doing. If not, keep them parallel. Last one, guys. Breathe in and lengthen it. Go on, open the chest a little bit more. Breathe in out, dropping the head, grabbing the ball again, bringing your arms by your ears and rolling up in your own pace, in your own time. So you'll come back to centre. Great, bring the feet together this time. Breathe in with the ball up. As you breathe out, squeeze your leg up and squeeze the ball in. And let's that, do that three more times. So you're breathing in. Breathing out, squeezing the stomach in, the leg up. That's it, two more. Exhaling, try to think of your stomach engaging, then lifting the leg up. One last one, we're good to stay there. So try and find your balance, or find a wall if not. Remember every day it changes. Open the knee out, so you can draw a circle. Let's say two circles or one knee. So you're gonna breathe out as you lift, breathe in as you open, whoops. Drop it down, and breathe out as you lift again. So keep it turned out, if you can, keep your knee turned out. Lovely arms out in there, stretching the elbows out, that's it. Now drop the leg, lift the arms up, as you breathe in, and then exhale, bring the leg up again how it was before. And again, breathe in, stretching up, lengthening, breathing out, squeezing, stomach in, trying to drop the hip. Lovely. One more.
Exhale, actually two, and then we'll hold it again. It's hard for me today, it must be in the floor, right? <laughs> Last one, let's keep it up. About eight seconds, that's all we're gonna do today. Keep the leg up, eight seconds. Try to lengthen, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lovely, bring it forward first. If you want to, you can cross it, it's up to you. Or you cannot cross it. Guess what we're going to do? A little sun salute movement. So you're going to stretch the arms up, decide whether you cross the legs or not. Breathe in. Now, as you breathe out, bend your knees. Try to keep your soles of the feet on the floor, squeeze your inner thighs. And then drop down, just like before. Relax the head. Try to hold your forehead eight seconds to your right knee. Seven, six, five. Bend your knees as much as you have to, but squeeze your inner thigh. Now push the ball forward, lengthen your spine. Hold it there, guys, as you lengthen into that tabletop. See if you can lift your right arm up. Look up if you can, pushing the left hand into the block of the ball, and then drop it down. Breathing out, dropping down. Last one. Lifting up. Can you hold it up? Eight seconds. Seven. Six. Five. That's it. Four. Three. Two. One. Lovely. Let's do it again. Now we're going to do the other side. Now we're going to do the other side. And you're just going to roll up. So grab the ball, bend your knees, exhale, and come back to your center. One bird for a time. Lovely guys, well done for following me. I know that was a busy one. Well, new sequence. But we've kind of done it before. Let's do the other leg. I'm just going to take some more time. Okay, let's do this. So it's the left leg. You guys, right can be breathe it. Breathe out. Lift the knee up. Squeeze your stomach in the And And again, breathe in. Breathing out, stomach in, and then squeeze. That's it. Let's do two more. We'll hold the last one. Exhale and squeeze and lift. Squeeze it. Pass it out. One more last one. Breathe it. We're holding it up. I'm struggling today, but I'm sure you can. So eight seconds just to find your balance. Lengthen, squeeze when the thighs drop the hip, and then start turning the leg out. Drop it down. Squeeze your stomach in. It doesn't have to go far. High, but try and really work your core as you do this movement like you would on the floor. Exhaling as you lift, and then just turn it out, hold it out, find that movement. 45 degree angle is usually kind of right, and then stretch the ball up as the leg goes down. Breathe in, that's it. Exhale, lift the leg up, turn down, drop the hip. Good, and to the diagonal. Three more, good. Let me rush you. Exhaling as you lift. Squeeze your stomach in, good. And your arms are much better, technically, and um, your elbows pointing out all the time. Well done, and your shoulders down. Lifting up. Last one, one more, breathe in it. We're gonna try and hold it there. So you're gonna lift, grab a wall, a person, table, four seconds, just lengthening, dropping the hip there. Even here, feeling like you're squeezing your inner thighs. And then cross the leg, or not, but squeeze your inner thighs, whatever you do, and make sure four corners of your feet are on the floor. Breathe in, lift the ball up, open your chest, push your hips forward, your feet down. Breathe out, bend your knees, and you're kind of a tabletop position here, the straight back. Push your hips back, that's it, better. And then drop the ball down, bend your knees a lot, so that you can put your hands on the floor now, and your forehead towards your left. Eight seconds. Seven, see if you can stretch your legs a little bit more if it's possible. Or not, or bend them more. Pushing your inner thighs towards each other, your pelvic floor. Now grab the ball or the block and roll it forward. Keep the block forward. Open the chest. Halfway up. That's it. Nice. Lovely. And then drop back down. Relax the head, bring the hands by your feet. We do two more. Breathe in. Just to get that movement. Stretch it out. That's it. Let's do a last one and hold it and we'll do the twist. So push it forward, hold it there, lift the left arm up, push 
right arm onto the ball, that looks better. Better back there, open the chest, and then drop the arm down, we've got two more. Lifting up, try and see if you can stretch your knees a little bit more. Um, Sarah, yes, push your chest bone back towards the right side of the group, and then back down, last one, lift up, so hold up, eight seconds, push the block, the ball away, try and open the chest a little more. Half faces the left hand of the left side of the room. That's it, Anne. And now drop the arm down, relax the head, grab the ball, and roll back up one vertebra at a time. Squeeze the inner thighs, relax the shoulders. Head is the last. Okay, well done. I'd like you to grab a chair now. Susan, did you miss that on purpose? You see, guys, Susan suddenly logged off in the second part of the movement. On the left side, I bet she's done it on purpose, see, Susie. Anyway, we're doing our, our leaning on chair movement. So I'm going to go like this. And what we're going to do is a little bit of this movement. Like if we were on our hands and knees. So see if you can find something you can kind of lean on. Is that possible? Okay, you got it. So what I would like you to make sure before we even start, we're going to work the right leg first, I'll work this one, so we can work it out. We're going to lift it up and really try and make sure that you can stretch the leg with no excuses behind you. Also, what I'm seeing in this position, you need to remember it's like we're on, on the floor on our hands and knees. So I see a lot of sinking of the chest, of the head, and it's the second principle. You need to push the chair away or whatever you're using at the top. Okay. So keep your feet about hip distance apart, like the table, and then see if you can breathe in and look up. Open the chest, arch your spine, sit your tailbone up also. And then as you breathe out, roll into that C-shaped position like a cat. Good, so can you do that again? So you're breathing in, open the chest, exhale in, rolling into that C-shaped spine, pushing the chair away and the feet in front of you. And again, breathing in. You can try doing it on your elbows even, um, Emily, if you feel that um, the middle of your elbows, even on your stomach on the floor, if your arms hurt. Okay, last one, breathe in, open the chest. And now as you breathe out and curl the spine, you're gonna lift the right leg up and try and get your knee as close to your forehead as possible. That's your exhale, that's it. And then as you breathe in, drop the foot down and just arch your spine again. And exhale, the right leg again, same leg all the time. We're going to do it four times with the right leg. Pull head to knee, you're going to use your core. And then breathe in, look up. Lovely, exhale, roll the spine. Squeeze your inner thigh still, forehead to knee. And then inhale, open the chest. One more, but keep it up this time. Exhale, keep it up. Eight seconds, forehead to knee. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it there. See if you can now stretch the leg back as you breathe in. Open the chest and still look up. Push the chair away. Exhale, forehead to knee again. That's it. And just three more. Breathe in. Have a break when you need it. If you need it, look up. Breathe in out. Forehead to knee. Inhale, two more. Take your time. You can go faster, slower. Exhale, forehead to knee. Last one. Breathe in. Breathing out, full head to me. I would like you to stretch the right leg behind. Stretch it up. That's it. Can you lift maybe as a choice the left arm up? Try to push the floor away. Lift that leg up so you make a T-shaped position with your body. And see if you can just do bounces, pulses up with the right leg. Really try and stretch your limbs, guys. For eight, seven, six, five, four. We try not to do your arm, isolate it. Bend your knee and do eight more. Go on, we need it. Six, lift it up a little bit more. Three, two, one. Drop the arm down. Last little push, guys. Try to get your knee to the side, turned out. That's it. Hold it there. Eight seconds. Push the world away with your hands. Seven, lengthen your spine. Open your chest. Don't round it. Last four seconds. Three, two, one. And drop it down. Well done. The other side. And I know where we're going. 
I've been nice because I had planned to do the side, but I've got to take it step by step. We'll do it really good with artists. So little by little, not shock you all at once. So it is a different movement, but the same in the way. So make sure you've got space on the other leg. And we'll start with our cat cows, but we'll just do two. And then straight away involve our knees. So you're going to breathe in as you look up. And then breathe out as you roll. One more, breathe in it. Breathing out. One, one more, breathing in. As you breathe out, you're going to lift the left knee up. Exhale, left knee up to forehead. Push the chair away with your hands and then breathe in. Just drop the leg and look up. That's all you're doing. Exhale, roll your spine, squeeze your stomach and the pelvic through your inner thighs. Forehead to you. Try and lift it up. And then breathe in. It's very good for the spine too, this knee. And breathing out, full head to knee. Breathing in. Last one, can you keep it up? Eight seconds. Full head to knee for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there, breathe in, stretch the leg back, look up, open the chest. That's it. Exhale, full head to knee. Push the chair up. Again, breathe in. Open the chest. Good. Exhale. Forehead to knee. That's two. Just two more guys. Really there. Breathing in. Breathing out. Forehead to knee. Last one. Breathing in. Breathing out. Forehead to knee. You want to stretch the leg now and keep it stretched. Lengthen it up. Hold it there. Open maybe and lengthen the opposite arm. That's up to you. And just do little bounces. Pulses up. Go on for eight. Eight. Seven, lift that leg up, Sachin, and go on, more. The length of your hips, the height of your hips. That's it, bend the knee for eight, seven, six. That's it, and bend That one looks higher. Try and keep them both that height, because that's perfect. To the side now, drop the hand, or not, have a try with that, and just try and lift the knee, turn that as much as you can. Go on. Four more seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, my little shaking. Well done guys, see if you can just walk back, open the legs wide with your feet pointed in or forward, not out. And just do a little bounces with your chest back, you can bend your knees or not, but try and stretch your spine. Maybe even try bending your knees, but keep your hips up, see how it feels. Eight more, seven, six. Can you just keep your chest down and now wag your tail? So you're going with your tailbone, right, left, right, left. That's it. Let's do eight more. Try and relax the head. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. And now just drop the hands to the floor. Bend your knees if they're not bent. Relax the head, the crown facing the floor. And just roll up one vertebra at a time. So you stand. Well done, guys. That's the chair for the moon. I want to use them in bridges. Hopefully, I remembered the last time I didn't remember. I wanted to use it. So, keep it near. And we'll go to the back of our mat now and roll down. I think I've gone fuzzy on you. How many I've got a trick for that? Okay, blind the band near. Try not too far. One in between the legs at the back of our mat. Take it slow. Try and the first time we're stretching actually with our feet parallel and hip distance. So take it slow, breathe in, feel the posture. Breathe in out, drop the head, the shoulders, bend your knees, squeezing your stomach in. Find your way to the floor. Just hold it there a couple of seconds. Make sure the head is hanging. Feel the weight of your head. That's important. And then walk forward to the other side of your mat. Find your way there. Careful with your shoulders. And then drop the knees down straight away. And take the ball away. Actually, I want you to put it under your hands. Open your knees. And stretch as far down as you can with your chest, with your hands, your fingertips on the ball, maybe your chest is hovering, let the head relax. 
Breathe in there. Try and push the ball forward a little bit. As you breathe out, try and push the hips into your heels. Your legs are turned out, yeah? Now, if you can exhale and roll the ball towards you or just walk your hands towards you if you haven't got a ball and come back, sit in onto your heels, legs hitting your spine. So it's a leg and roll down. You're gonna breathe in here, breathe out, let the head roll, then the shoulders push the ball forward or walk your hands forward. So you come into that stretch again. Hold it there, breathe in, lengthen. And as you breathe out, see if you can roll all the way up to six again. Let me know if there's any pain. And I can give you variations for this. So we're doing kind of roll down and up in child's pose with our knees turned down. Yes, breathe in. Exhale, first the head, shoulders. Walk your hands forward or push the ball forward. Hold it there, breathe in. Breathe in and roll back. We're doing one more. Breathe ready, breathe in and lengthen. See if you can go a little bit further, breathe in out. First your head, shoulders. Hold it there, breathe in. Breathe in out, rolling your way back. Lovely. And then just bring the legs forward. Sit at the top of our mat. So squeeze your inner thighs. Grab the back of your legs for now, or if you want a bit of a challenge already, let go of your legs and go a little bit further down. Remember to plug your feet into the floor and squeeze the ball. So we're going to exhale and roll back. Take in the pubic bone up, the hips forward, and then breathe in, stretch back up. Lengthen your spine. And again, exhale, roll in. Keep the hips moving first. As you exhale and in, come back up. Lengthen up. Let's do two more. Exhale, squeeze the ball, squeeze the stomach in, then move your hips first. Look at the shoulders. And in, in, up. Last one, let me know if the music is too loud. I thought I'd put something more up for you. You, you notice, I'm sure. <laughs> Breathe in, lengthen. We're going to reach back, so as you exhale now, roll back, and you can choose, maybe you don't want to, but if you do reach back, plug your feet into the floor, don't lean on one foot, on one hip, again, breathe in, back to centre, exhale, roll to the other side, squeeze your inner thighs, reach back, inhale, back to centre, lengthen, there's two more, exhale, rolling back, reaching back, Grabbing the leg, inhale. Last one, exhale. Reach back. Come back as you inhale, maybe let go of your legs. We're going to roll the whole way down. Or use your hands to do that. Inhale here, as you roll down, make sure that you've got space to stretch your arms behind your head. And take your time, try to make it as slow as possible. Breathe in with your arms behind you now. And as you breathe out, bring them by your hips and push the air. So, so you make resistance with your arms. Breathe in, back, breathe out, squeeze the ball, the stomach, the ribs. Think of the coordination of everything, the pelvic floor. And remember that it's important also to release and squeeze your pelvic floor. So you can't always be squeezing it or not. You need to combine and be aware of both. So inhale in, let go, exhale, squeeze. And do a couple more, maybe think also of lifting your head and shoulders up. As you exhale, breathing and taking them back. And that's up to you. Let's do eight of whatever our choice is. So remember, if your neck hurts, just think of the breath, squeezing the ball, and then releasing it. Exhaling up, inhaling down. You could even keep no movement in your arms if your shoulder hurts and just lift up the head and shoulders and squeeze the ball and then drop with your arm by your side. So just be aware of that, you can take the arms away too. Let's do three last ones and then we'll do the hundred in the three different variations and you can keep just the first one or keep changing. So breathing in, arms back, exhaling, arms by your hips, keep going, two more, breathing in. Remember to look at your stomach, push it back with your eyes. 
Inhale it back. Now as you exhale, keep your arms by your hips, drop the head and shoulders, and start springing with your arms up and down as fast as you can. And thinking of the breath, so you're breathing in for five, and breathing out, squeezing the ball and your inner thighs, and your stomach and your ribs. Let's go, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out. That's two, one more. Breathe out. See if you want to lift your head and shoulders and keep going. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Squeeze your stomach in. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Five. Breathe out and squeeze the ball. Shoulders down. Last one. Exhale. Move the legs in tabletop. Last three breaths. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out and squeeze your block. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. The last one. And then grab the ball. Drop the legs in the right, take it behind you and start lifting one leg up into the tabletop. Add your arms, your head, your shoulders. Exhale. Inhale, take it back. Exhale. That's it. Keep it. Six more. Inhale. Five. Keep squeezing your stomach back and lift the leg. I actually don't really do this right. Your knee should always be opposite your hip joint, not too far towards you. So you need to lift your head and shoulders towards it, the leg. Okay, your next one, if you want, try lifting both legs up, squeezing them together in a tabletop, and then dropping them together. And that's optional. Exhale, we're just doing six, or you can keep going with the other movements. Have a break. Exhale, five. Inhale. Try not to arch at all. Try to be neutral with your natural lumbar curve, but if you feel you're arching, then you think of imprinting your middle spine a little bit. I hope that makes sense to you. Let's do one last one. Exhaling up. And now as you stretch your legs down, just stretch the right leg up, kick it up, and then drop it, bend it back down. Left leg kicks up, squeeze the ball, inhale, drop it down. Keep going, exhale up. That's it. Remember we were talking about our intention being stretching our toes, our knees. Unless there's pain in your groin, try to really keep that. Okay, that's it, that's hurt me, Sarah. <laughs> okay, let's try and do six. With our legs together up and legs together down, and that's optional too. So you might lift them both up, squeeze your inner thighs, and then bend them back down. Just six, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up, lovely, three more, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, one last one, exhale up, inhale down, now kick the right leg up, kick it up, and then straight leg kick, so the right leg goes back down, stretched, and you're kicking the right leg up again six times, yes? Inhale, back down. Exhale, and keep your head down, your arms by your hips. We can use your dino band. Good, three last ones. Breathe in, breathe in out. Out. Two more. Exhale up. Remember to squeeze your stomach in. Start the movement with your stomach. Up. Now bend the leg down. Take the arms back. Kick your left leg up. Kick it up. Go on, we need you there. Stretch it down, straight leg kick down. That's it. And up, stretch it up. You got it. And back down. You can do your toes. Go on, stretch your knees. Yeah. Just three more. Remember, you've got a cup of tea on your right knee. You don't want to spin it. Exhale up. Inhale down. Last one, guys, are there. Exhale up. And bend it back down. Take the ball now in between your inner thigh and hold it there. Actually, it's a good moment. Grab your chair. If you want to make it different, harder, or maybe you don't, and that's fine. But maybe you want to add some height. So the movement just to see the different view. So you want to put your feet on your heel press there on the chair. So you'd be like this, like if you were in a tabletop position, or you could be in your normal bridge. You choose. You still got your ball in between your inner thighs, and 
and you're still thinking of keeping your feet going off the earth, you just feel them a second. In the same line, you can hit, right? So you're gonna exhale now into an imprint, pushing your heels with your hips tendon into the chair, lifting the hips up a little bit, and then release that down, mini bridge. Exhale up, try and bring the chair a little bit more towards you, um, Sarah, if it's possible. Your knee should be right over your hip here. That's it. That's good. Exhale up. Keep going. Now try and think of the movement. Uh, you, or your hips being moved by your, by your stomach and not your glutes. And relax the balance of your legs. The only connection is healthy to your stomach. Your stomach and your breath out more your thighs. Try and relax the hips. That's hard, right? But try to move your legs. Keep going and we'll add our arms. So you can drop the arms behind your head as the hips drop, that's your breath in. Breathe out, lift the tempo and drop the arms behind your hips. Good. And the head the neck. This takes a while just to coordinate, so take it slow. And when you think of the pelvic floor, the stomach still working, the rectus is working the arms. Squeeze the left thighs. And if you want to, Start lifting your head and shoulders. We'll just do eight more or whatever version is you can exhale and inhale back. Yes, exhale up. Okay. Exhale. That's three. We've got five more. Inhale. Exhale. Up. Up. Inhale. Remember that we're reaching forward to your fingertips as well as up forward to pop the shoulders down. Exhale up. Inhale. Now on your next exhale, keep your hands on the floor by your hips and lift your hips up and start thinking of your bridge position. You'll find it much harder like this. But try and make a slide with your body and your thighs. Breathe in at the top and then breathe out. Roll down slowly back. Slow. And then take a break and maybe adjust whatever you need to adjust. And let's go for five minutes. Okay. Breathe out. Squeeze the pull. Tailbone lifts first. Initiate the pull. Then the legs, the arms take the one. Push your chest bone up, your hips up. That's it, Emily. Breathe in, squeeze. And then breathe and out. Roll back down. Take the pull up there. It's quite a difference, isn't there? Breathe in. Breathing out, rolling up, tip the hips of the core, and then push the floor away. Here you are, your feet, squeeze your inner thighs, lift the heart. Exhale, roll back down. Go on, we're nearly there. Breathing in. Breathing out. Lift a little bit higher. Go on, a little bit higher. Push those hips up. That's it, Susan. Breathing out, roll back down. You could even do it such, you know, with your feet against your wall or against the floor, it's up to you. Go on, two last ones. Breathe in. I know your legs cramp, it's normal, that means you're doing it well. Exhale, roll up. Or let me take more than one. It's one for two. <laughs> Breathe in. <laughs> Get closer to that wall such, you know, 90 degrees if you're doing the wall. Or do your version, I know that you already know what you're doing, so just, yeah. Breathe in, last one, we're holding it up, that's all we're doing. Breathe in. Eight seconds. Exhale all the way up. First of all, find the highest peak. Now squeeze your shoulders, walk your arms closer. Push your feet now into the into whatever your prop is. Lift up, make that slide so I can put a car at the top of your knees and it slides down to the floor. Four more seconds. Or lift higher. Three, squeeze your glutes. And then roll down on your exhale, little by little. Well done. Yes. Just take a breath there, relax. Take the ball away, squeeze your legs in, do the counter position. You might want to lift your head and shoulders up too, so that you can really get a tight grip with your opposite arm, and then squeeze your legs into your chest. Use your arms. Exhale there, and then inhale, ready, stay the bend. Again, exhale and squeeze. Inhale. Let's do one more. And then you can choose. Keep your knees together, feet up, 
not on the, we're not using the chair anymore, so just make sure it's not in the way. We're just going to do our twists. So you're going to let your legs roll. In fact, the chair could be quite handy because you need to get over it. Look to the opposite side as you breathe in, and then as you breathe out, back to your centre, breathe in, go to the opposite side. Squeezing your inner thighs there. Exhale. And keep going. About five, six more. Exhale. Inhale to drop. Remember to turn your head a lot. So you corkscrew your spine. Breathe in. Let's see four more. If you drop, breathe in. Yes. Exhale. The last one. So remember to look opposite ways. Really trust your head each time a little bit more. When you've done your last one, just take the feet down, take the diamond band if you've got it near, and we'll stretch our legs before we turn. So if you haven't got a diamond band, you can use your arms. You can also use a sock with some tights. Grab, grab the diamond band and put it around your right foot. Left foot on the floor for now. Take a moment to squeeze your upper arms into your ribs and just do circles with your ankle and your toes. Don't move anything else, remember. If you can work a straight leg, remember to stretch that knee. Yes. So four circles to the right. Let's do it together. Four and three. Time to try and breathe and be aware of your breath as you do that. Squeeze still your stomach in on the breath out. Go to the other side. Four circles, change direction. Three, don't move that other knee, keep that cup of tea on it. This saucer. Mm -hmm. Now, don't move your toe or your ankle. Bend your knee as much as you can bend it so you're working flexion. And then stretch it so you're working full extension. You can stretch it to the floor knee, but make sure it's stretched. So bend as much as possible and then stretch that knee. Work the thigh, the knee joint. That's it, Anne. And again, breathe in it. Breathe in now. As you stretch it, you're trying to keep your tailbone still on the floor. And breathe in it. Check your stomach. It's going back. Your shoulders are down. Your head is not turned. Breathe in. And keep it up now. That's the leg. As stretched as you can. We're going to do a little uh, Charlie Chaplin and back a movement. So you're going to turn the whole leg like we did standing from the hip out, just that right leg. Can you see? If not, I'll go the other way. And then back to parallel. So you're going to exhale as you turn out, breathe in as you come back to parallel from your hip joint. Turn the leg out. That's it. And back to parallel. And again, out. And parallel. Last one. Keep it turned out and then start breathing in, letting the leg drop as much as your hips don't move or the other knee. Then drop the leg down, draw a semicircle and kick it back up in parallel. And find that movement going. We're just doing three more, but try and find first that Charlie Chaplin. Then you're dropping the leg to the side. Try not to move the hips from the floor. And then exhale the leg back up parallel. That's two. Nice turn. The femur is turning, the, the biggest bone in our body, the upper leg bone, the femur, is turning inside the hip joint. Like when you are opening a door, so the same feeling is turning inside your hip. Let's go the other way. So you're going to drop the leg down in parallel as you breathe in, turn it out, and then keep it turned out and bring it back parallel. And again, drop down, open up and then bring it back. Notice that you really need to think of your inner thigh, especially if you lift the leg. We're doing two more. So I need to really push my left foot into the floor, squeeze my left inner thigh so that I keep my hip stable. Last one. Drop it, open it, exhale it, lift, lift it back up, hold it there. If you can, keep that knee, work it stretched and walk your way up your dyno band or your leg. Keep your grip and then lay back down. Hold it there. Maybe think of stretching the bottom leg into the floor. How does that feel? 
keep your legs, your knee joints going, stretch them, that's it Sarah. And now try and notice if your right hip is up or if you can lengthen it more down and away from your right armpit at all. But use your hands, your breath, your awareness. Try to relax the shoulders, maybe pull on the leg a little more. You can even try and lift your forehead, but not your shoulders, up to your ears. And just try and get your forehead as near to your knee for the last eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and drop it down. Well done. Grab the diamond band with the right hand and turn the leg out like you did in, in the work you just done. Drop it down, that's the leg, as much as your hips don't come off the floor, the left hip. Anchor it down with your core and also your left hand pushing into the floor helps. Then try and lift your left, no, your right toes towards your right ear. But at the same time try and drop the right hip away from the right armpit. So the leg is turned out there, Sachna, to the side. I know you've got a small screen as well. Just in case. Yeah. Go one more breath there. Pushing your stomach in to anchor your lumbar spine into the floor. Just stretch. Come back up. Before you go to the other side, just cross your midline a little bit. As much as your right hip doesn't come off the floor, and feel that IT band stretch here. Grab the, the band with your left hand now, opposite to the leg that's up, and put your right shoulder hand into the floor. Nice. See if you can stretch the knee anymore. See if you can push the right hip down into the floor, and away, yeah, that's it, and, and away from your right armpit too. Go on, a little bit, that's it. And see if you can cross the leg a little bit more, or lift it, or flex the foot or the toes. Notice the difference it makes. And now just breathe into any niggles or pain or tenderness. Relax the shoulders. And then just relax the leg, give it a hug. Squeeze it in. Let's go to the other side. So the left leg lifts. Pick your left leg up. Start with those ankle and toe circles. Still think of a straight knee, even here. If you can, if your groin doesn't hurt. So let's go ahead with those circles, ankle and toe with the left foot. Four circles, for four, as big as you can. Three. Just the ankles and toe there, Sarchna. The one I like you doing, that's the one. Let's go the other way. For four. Really point the toes and then flex them to your toes. That's it. And then still with your feet, move your knee. Bend it a lot and stretch it a lot. Exhaling, you're stretching the stomach in. Inhale, bend it a lot. So you're trying to touch your heel and your hip, the glute. And then stretch as you exhale. And check your shoulders. Relax. Exhale up. We've got three more things. Remember, you've got a cup of tea. Two more. Exhale it up. And this last one, it's to keep it up. So keep your leg up. Hold it there. And you're going to first turn, pull the leg out, Charlie Chaplin style, remember? And then back to parallel. And again, exhale, Charlie Chaplin, inhale. Notice if your hip bone is lifted when you turn out the left one and try not to let it move. Exhale, turn, inhale. One more. Can you keep it turned out now? That's the left leg. Drop it down to the side, you're drawing circles. It's four. Out as you breathe in, then back up through a kick in parallel as you breathe out. Squeeze the core. And again, breathe in. That's it. Exhale, lift up. Two more. Breathe in, check your cup of tea, keep checking. Exhale, up. Last one. Exhale, up. Hold it there, reverse that movement. So you're going down in parallel, turning out, opening the leg to the side without moving your hips. Exhale, up. Use your inner thighs, your pelvic floor as you go up. It's going to really help it work harder even. Exhale, pelvic floor, inner thighs, stomach. Good, two more. Breathe in. 
side, exhale up, last one, side, exhale up, hold it up, keep it up to walk all the way towards your foot, find it as high as possible and then drop back down, keeping the grip maybe, keeping the shoulders down for sure and the, not only away from your ears, but plugged into the floor. Use your back, even here. And then slide the opposite leg into the floor, the right leg. See if you can hold both knees as stretched as possible. Good. Maybe bend your elbows, try and get your head and shoulders off the floor without lifting your shoulders towards your ears. Stomach in, or hit to me. Four more seconds. Three, two, one, up, drop it down, turn the leg out, Charlie Chaplin style, grab it only with your left hand, that's the leg or the dino band, anchor your right palm into the floor, turn the leg out to drop it to the side, you're stretching it to the side here, remember that your right hip is touching the floor and your left hip isn't pinching up towards your left arm hip, good, hold it there, nice, good Sasha, that's it, that wall you've got in front of you, Push your bottom foot into it like you're standing on the floor. And that should help you, that's it, square the leg off. Good. Come back up. And then changing your hands. So the right arm grabs the dyna band, the left hand to the floor. Cross that leg over a little bit. A little bit or a lot, but keep your hips on the floor, both of them. It's not a twist, that's it. Not a twist, it's to stretch either the knee or your lumbar spine or your IT band or your hamstring. That's what we usually can do. Drop the hip down, go across the leg, lift it up, flex the toes if you want to feel more. Breathe deeply if you want to feel less. <laughs> and then come back up and give that leg a hug. Well done. Nice. Move both legs in for a second. Maybe you want to roll side to side a little bit, massage your lumbar spine. Maybe forward and back. So see what you want to do. You can roll forward and back if that feels good, or even into your cow position if that feels good. Do at least three more, take your time. And one last one. We're going to try and keep, remember we did this last week, rather than our mermaids, to save also um, um, Emily's shoulder today, we can do our mermaids in, in yoga lattes. Let's try and lift the legs up, keeping the core. I know it's not easy. You can keep your feet on the floor or lift them up. Start thinking first of your hips, actually. See if you can roll back a little bit and then come back to a straight spine and feel that difference. And again, use your arms. So your feet might be on the floor, especially if you're going to and then, oh, we lost one. One more. Go back. And now try and keep your chest, your body as tall as possible. And lift your toe, right toe off the floor or all the way up. It really depends on your body and on your chest. Keep it up and drop it down. And then the other leg. So we're doing, after this one, two more like that. Lift your chest bone up even more. Use your back and your front body. That's it, Anne. Nice. I can see changes. Nice. Last one. Lift up. And down. Can we lift two up? Go on, two up. Two fingers off the floor, millimeters, or all the way up. Or stretch your knees. Go on, stretch your knees if you can. Nice. For four, three, two, one. Bend your knees, turn them out. Try to grab your inner arches. Put your heels on the floor or off, up to you. Here you've got more of a rounded spine, but still open the chest. It's only the lumbar spine. And then lift the heel off the floor a little bit along. And we're breathing out to your drop in. And again, breathing, other leg. Exhaling, squeezing the pelvic floor off the floor as you do that. Good. Two more. Go on your knees. There. Exhale. Last one. Breathe in. And drop two legs up. Twice. Breathe in. 
We're about to drop them and we'll do one more and just hold it and that's it. Go on, lifting up, eight seconds. Hold it there, open the chest, open the chest. That's it, drop the shoulders there, stretch those knees. Go on, for four, for three, for two, and one, and dropping them down. Well done, that's looking better. Can we finish with our back one, so on our stomach today? So just swivel your legs around. You, we're gonna do my favorite, my favorite back one, but all the spine. So your arms are forward. If your shoulders hurt here, you can keep your arms down and just lift your legs with your forehead against the floor or your hands under your forehead. So just check it out, Emily. If you can, you're stretching your arms, shoulder distance apart if you're quite flexible, but you can broaden them, the arms, so it's easier to stretch them. Forehead against the floor, right leg up, left arm up, breathe in, breathe out, drop them down. Other leg, other arm, breathe in, lift up. Look for balance in the weight of the hips, you know that though, don't you? And the chest, everything. Keep going, breathe in, in. lift them away from each other. Breathing out, drop them down. Breathing and lift up. Let me see the last one. Breathing out, drop down. Breathing in. Well, we're nearly there. Breathe out and drop. Breathing in, lift up. Breathe out and drop down. Last two. You're going to lift up to hold it and stay there. Just eight seconds to lengthen your leg and your arm away from each other. Eight seconds, seven, go on, you there, six, five, four, three, two, one, and drop them down. Other leg, other arm. Breathe them away from each other. Stretch that knee, go on, um, and stretch your knee. So much less, your thigh lifts off the floor. Four more seconds, three, two, one, and drop down, well done. Two legs and two arms. Final push. Push the world away with your forehead. Feel that superwoman. So lengthen arms away from your feet. So eight seconds there. Go on. Eight, seven. Lock those shoulders down. Good suck. Stretch those elbows. Stretch your knees even more than what they want to. Toes, nails. Two more seconds. One. And drop down. Well done. Drop your arms by your side, still laying down. Just turn your head to the right shoulder. Just breathe here. Try and turn your head, each breath out a little more. Relax your shoulders, open the chest. And then turn your neck, your head, your chin the other way to the left. And then a couple of breaths. Back to center. Push to the floor away with your hands. Let's roll back through that C-shaped spine. Finish with the child's pose. So sit back, relax the head down as much as it can go. Knees together this time, feet together. With two deep breaths. Even the music is asking for it. Good timing. Breathing out, hold it there. One more deep breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Can you walk your hands away from you to the right just for one breath there? So in a child's pose, just slide in our arms to the right, our hips to the left. Then breathe deep. And then the other side, walking away with your fingers to the left side of the mat to relax in the head there, breathing deeply. Breathing out. Then walk into the middle of your mat again with your hands rolling up onto your knees. Let's finish with one deep breath in together. Well done, guys. Just find a comfortable seat. Actually, take a moment if you've got it just to stretch your neck very quickly. To the right, for a few seconds there. Close your eyes, just 
just do one deep breath. Try to relax the shoulders. Into the chest there. Let the arm go, but roll your head to a semicircle and find yourself in a tilt to the left and just grab your head again on the left side. Close your eyes, breathe into the right side of your neck, relax the shoulders, think of your chest bone. And then let the head drop to the centre, two hands on your head, just stretch it down for a second, maybe say no a couple of times, relax the shoulders. And then stretch your arms up, look up, up, look forward. And just wriggle up, make yourself a little bit taller, longer before you finish. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, slide your shoulders down, hug your ribs in, stomach in, arms together, and through the center. Thank you very much, ladies.